How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for talking to me. Listen, this is the 21st century. Um, a lot has changed in the world. And I just wanted to get your perspective on what you think about the state of relationships uh, in America today between men and women. Do you think good, things are good, things are bad, indifferent? What's your perspective? Um, I think I think things have changed a little bit mm -hmm. only because of like millennials now. We kind of want things now or whether we don't want things, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not sure, honestly, sorry. Oh. That's um, fine, that's fine, that's fine. What can I say? So like with my relationship now, I know there are certain boundaries that we do keep with each other. Uh -huh. And then we are more open with each other now. And I know new pe people are doing that now. Okay. So that is also something that has changed. Whereas back in the day, people would keep secrets with people. Where now millennials are more outspoken with each other. So okay. we're able to say what's on our minds and we don't have to hold back our feelings. So okay. if we don't like something, we don't like it. And we're going to tell you that. Okay, 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 okay. Well, good. So, so, so basically you're saying there's, there's more transparency now yes. in relationships. Well, let me ask you this. Do you think um, the social media age has kind of facilitated that to, to make that, you know, like with Instagram and TikTok and oh, everything I, else? I definitely think social media has a really big influence on relationships as well, only because people like social media influencers they see them doing big things they mm -hmm. see them their partners getting things for their other partners and we're not able to do that at that moment now so it could take a toll on how people usually spend their relationships with other people okay okay, okay. well let me ask you this do you think with all this transparency do you think that um that this is ultimately good for relationships is there a, is there a, a negative or a downside to it I can say it could be both good and bad. The negative side, because we do look at other people and kind of compare relationships and want that for ourselves, where we're not maybe at that level yet where we can receive that type of transparency from our partner. But it could also be goal-wise and positive, a positive way because it could be goal-wise and we could try to get to that point if that makes sense. Okay, so you say you're, you're a millennial and you have friends and what have you. Uh, and you're you're in a relationship. Um, would you say that your generation values relationships like you know long-term relationships, or are they like indifferent or what? Honestly, I feel like my generation is not sure what they want right now. I value long-term relationships, uh -huh. but they may may not be for other people or my friends. They don't see long-term relationships right now. They're kind of looking at short-term summer relationships. Or you know, it depends. Okay, on the okay. So, so that means that some of your friends, does that mean like marriage is like not really a big issue for them? Yeah. It's not a big priority for yeah, them. Yeah, it's not a big priority for them. It's not a big priority for me either. But I do see myself working towards marriage because I do want to be married one day. But for them, on the other hand, they're kind of just in the moment right now, which I am too. But I'm also looking towards the future. Okay. Do you think that's a good thing that that, that I think your that's friends? A good thing. That they're in the moment? You think that's a good well, thing? I don't know. Honestly, I feel like we do have to live in the moment at the same time, but also work towards the future. So on their behalf, I would just really suggest them to just, you know, take it slow with the people that they do talk to now and just see, tell the people what they want in life and what they want to get out of the relationship. Okay, okay. Well, let me ask you this. So we also live in a, the era of like Me Too and all that right. kind of stuff. Do you think Me Too and you know the kind of politics around that do you think that's made it more difficult for men and women to interact because I mean, there, there's some guys who are kind of on age they're afraid to approach women now right. because of accusations of harassment and what have right. you what do you think um i actually have heard that before that nowadays men are afraid to approach women because of what's going on in social media in the world um I feel like that could change, but that's a mindset thing. So if their mindset isn't up there to change that, then they won't be able to do it. Do you think, well, in light of that, do you think it's uh, it's time right, time for women to kind of um, step up and start approaching men? Definitely. I also definitely feel like women should take that step as well because we definitely have to go after what we want. It's not going to always just come to us. Cool, 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 cool. Last, last question. So you've got dating apps. Um, people, you know, meet uh, mm -hmm. on uh, Tinder and Bumble and stuff like that. 
what's better meeting people on dating apps or meeting people in real time um what's better well definitely real time i'm not knocking dating apps mm -hmm. but dating apps can be seen as like fake profiles as well or hiding your true persona through the app or on online through the internet so meeting a person in meeting someone in person is completely different than meeting them on a dating app if that makes sense cool 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 and, and last question last question so did did will smith do the right thing <laughs> did will smith do the right did thing? did he do the right thing by slapping chris rock at the oscars in defense of his wife jada and would you want your boyfriend to do the same thing for you see now that situation is a little messy so <laughs> i can't even answer that question but for me would i want my husband to do that maybe not go on stage and slap the person but i would want him to speak up for me because i would feel like if someone was coming towards me in a negative way that i would want my husband or my boyfriend to speak up for me so i would so i would feel better about the situation cool 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 well listen thank you for talking talking with me You're uh welcome. enjoy the rest of your day you too all thank right bye-bye